everybody, it's Amy Graham, the Badass Valkyrie, and it has been a while since we have done this whole face-to-face -face thing. Um, I have had a, a little bit of a difficult time the past couple of weeks, and I was just not in a place where I was like, I can focus or actually look at a camera and just not be like, whoo. So um, if you have not been following along on uh, Instagram... Uh, I was diagnosed with BPPV, which is uh, uh, the most common form of vertigo. And it started when I had my MRI for my neck issues. Evidently, an MRI can actually set this off. So uh, BPPV happens when the crystals in your ears, yes, I know that sounds like bullshit, but there are crystals in your ears. They're called onoliths, I think, onoliths. Anyway, they're little tiny pieces of like calcium. And my doctor explained them like, if you would take in like a Tums and like crushed it up, that's what it's kind of like. And uh, I'm sorry, my hair's kind of crazy today. I rode home with the sunroof open. So it's a little nuts. It's about 90, I think it was 94, 95 today. So yeah. Uh, it was so pretty. I was just like, oh, I need to just have some air. So anyway, um, so that's been going on. And when I think that I'm done with it, I on Friday I went in for the ultrasound on my thyroid because they found a cyst on my right thyroid uh, section. Uh, gland? I, I, thyroid lobe. That's it. Thyroid lobe. So I had to go in and uh, get that checked there from Thursday of last week to well, Wednesday night to Friday in a 48 hour period. I had five doctor's appointments. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I have paid so many copays. I'm just like, can we stop this now, please? I'm, I just need to stop. And so over this past month, I have seen so many doctors and uh, gone to so many doctor appointments. June just kind of went crazy. So um, on top of that, I went camping for a weekend and uh, just all sorts of things. So it has been a little chaotic to say the least. However, today is July 1st and we all know what starts on July 1st. What about July? So. Needless to say, I'm not going to be changing a ton, but like I brought, let me move this over here. This is my, um, uh, superior labor bag. This is my everyday carry to the office. This is my office bag. So there are a couple of extra things in here, but, um, and then I have my Chic Sparrow Breezy Tote, which I love, absolutely love, and it looks like the day I got it. So I've been carrying it for over two months, and I love it. Now I will start off saying that my Odyssey Athena, which all of my tracking is in for my intermittent fasting and uh, my running and all of that, this is not changing at all. It's staying right here. Everything goes in here. This stays with me all the time. It goes in my handbag. It's with me everywhere I go. Now, I don't take it everywhere around the house, but, well, technically, <laughs> I kind of do, I guess, because I take it from uh, the upstairs down to the basement when I'm down here, in the, which is just my other desk is on the opposite side of this wall of, the, of my study. So, but that is not changing. And my pocket... Uh, or I'm sorry, this is my passport siren, um, which is also an odyssey is not going anywhere. Now you may notice that I have it in this little bag. So if you can see, see how it's got like little black tinges around the edges there. That's the downside of an oil tanned leather in black. 
it is getting a little bit of the oil tanning rubbing off, uh, especially around the edges. So and you can definitely see it right there at the top. Um, and so what I've done is I just carried around in this handy dandy little sheep sparrow, sheep sparrow bag. Now you can see how kind of dingy the bag has gotten just from the oil um, or the, the, the oil tanned, I want to say oil skinned leather, but it's oil tanned leather, um, just kind of leaving a mark on these. So that's why I'm doing that. You, I can't notice it on the Athena, but it's already tinged in black. So um, because it's a darker leather and it had more of the shading around the edges. And so if it gets a little bit more dark, totally fine. The Siren, however, and I'll show you the comparison between the two. It is quite a bit different. So this is very, very light. This is the buttered rum, uh, Mr. Darcy, that turns into the Siren. So uh, that buttered rum, that A5 that I sold, <laughs> tried to trade for an Odyssey. The only Odysseys I were getting um, offered were classics and I wanted to trade for a deluxe. I don't do classic, especially in that size. So, um, what I'm going, I went ahead and sold it and, uh, it got sent off today and tomorrow, Wednesday, July 3rd, or not tomorrow, uh, the day after tomorrow, Wednesday, July 3rd is the personal sale. Athena is going to get a couple of sisters or brother. Don't know which one yet. So I'm going to ask again for Odyssey. Who knows? Everybody else in the dog seems to be getting everything that they asked for, yet I have not. So, that's okay. I know that's the risk. And all of you are like, oh my god, I couldn't do that because of the surprise and all that. I kind of like that. But I also understand that I could get something like the buttered rum or the, <laughs> the pink uh, that I don't like. And I will have to end up selling it. And, you know, I've taken like a 5 or $10 loss in both of these, but uh, the ones that I have sold. And that's okay. It's the risk I take and I'm willing to take because hopefully somewhere, someday down the line in one of these second chance sales, I'm going to get a freaking Odyssey <laughs> or a Hemingway. So, um, I also found out that I cannot use my hundred dollar reward that I have built up from Chic Sparrow on the second chance sales. So as soon as the weeks, uh, Hummingbird, Hummingbird, oh my gosh. Hemingway's come out, I, I'm told that there will most likely be Oak Park, which is the uh, Perseus or Wickham uh, done in the Hemingway form. And it is sold out. And that is what I wanted. I, I didn't necessarily like Wickham all by itself, but the Hemingway line in that is beautiful. So um, hopefully I will be able to do that. If not, then I will get the Milan, which is the Daphne in the Hemingway. Anyway, whoosh, tangents. See? See what happens when I'm not face to face with you guys? I don't go on nearly the number of tangents that I do this way. Anyway, so the reason I brought my bag down is One Book July, which will be focused on the bullet journal method, which I have read now almost four times. Love it. Love it. Love it. Mm. So, uh, I have had a bullet, bullet journal for the past two years and it is something that I do. And in tandem with my cousin, Avec, which I love. And I have been thinking about tweaking the way that I do all my blocking in my cousin, Avec. So when the theme for this year came out, it just occurred to me, I'm like, why don't I try the bullet journal method in my Hobonichi, Cousin Avec? So that's what I'm going to do. So my, because those of you who were around for One Book July 2018 know, giving up my Hobonichi Cousin Avec for an entire month makes me wonkadoo. I could not do it. I lasted a, a week, barely a week. I told y'all I lasted a week. Five days, maybe, maybe five days before I was like, 
oh, look, I'll just write everything down in, in my Hobonichi and then I'll just transfer it into the thing because it's so much more comforting to do that. And I, I, I never want to say I have planner peace, but I love my Hobonichi Kezuna Beck and my Hobonichi Weeks and my Hobonichi A6 Techo English Planner to death. I love them. Love them so much. I... I can, I, I totally understand when people are like, I don't like this. I don't like this about this. I don't like this about any of the Hobonichis. I love them all. All three of them, I love. I, I don't necessarily like the cousin all together. I love the Avec versions because I love getting a brand new spanking fresh book every six months. And yes, you still have to carry stuff forward and you have to do that again. But as my lovely cat tear has proven to me that way I can get rid of a book that's got coffee spilled all over it and get a brand new one in six months it's already there and as long as I keep that little cat away from the coffee everything will be fine <laughs> um in fact yep you look right there tear coffee a little violent monster that I love dearly, but Jiminy Christmas, he, he loves the smell of coffee and loves like putting his little nose right into that. And I'm just, what are you doing? He's obviously my child because he loves coffee. Mm. And then <laughs> Heimdall, you open sugar anywhere in this house or cheese sticks, but anything sweet, he comes running. Mama, 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 mama. That's the way he is. I'm like, you are an annoying three-year-old. <laughs> but he, if it's sugar, if it's got sugar in it or it's sweet, he has to have it and will do anything possible to get it out of my hands. Like, mm, like biting it, grabbing it, anything. Tear is not that demanding, but it's only sugar and it's only string cheese. I know. I have very very strange pets, but I love them dearly. Anyway, so this is my bullet journal. It is an A5. It is the um, stealth version that came with the bullet journal method. And it is from Leuchtturm. It's their night. It's their official bullet journal stealth version. And these two came as a set. Now, um, when we flip this bad boy around, I will take you through everything that I've done in the bullet journal this year, because this year I decided I was following this, the bullet journal method as much as possible and not putting, not trying to draw, not trying to do lettering, nothing like that. It's pure bullet journal method. So I will show that to you. Um, also in here is, um, as I've said earlier, or in a couple of videos ago, my Jibun Techo was part of Planner Prime was my A5 Cousin of Vec, whatever half, and the Jaboon Techo in the A5 Slim. Well, this time of year, I usually need to have uh, previous, the January through June uh, Cousin of Vec, and the July to December Cousin of Vec, just for work, home life, fighting, training, all of that sanity. So, for a couple of months, I usually carry both. And so there was no way on God's green earth that I was going to get both a Vex and the Jibun Techo in here and not have it kind of look too wonky. So what I found out was the Jibun Techo fits perfectly in a Chic Sparrow wide. And thus my Hera has entered into everyday carry land. So that will stay. This is just my Jibun Techo. And so it is just my media um, trackers. And so this will actually stay at home most of the time, and unless I'm uh, not able to get a video update up, uploaded or something like that. Um, and then I usually just grab it and take it with me, but it will not be with me all the time. And uh, since I've done the switch, I found that I didn't need it all the time with me, but I was just carrying it in my bag for, you know, shits and giggles, but it will stay at home. Um, many of you have asked, oh my gosh, you're gonna put everything in one book. Oh my God, what are you gonna do about your weeks? 
my wig is staying right here. Yes, it is. This is my self care. And again, I do not want to have a blank month of July. I hate that. Especially in my Hobany two weeks. I am more than happy to have a blank week or a blank month in my damn bullet journal. And as you will see, there are some things that are blank. There are weeks that I didn't get into this. So as much as I love having it, there are times that I don't necessarily use it. I do get in it for my uh, uh, year in pixels and my forward trucking and future log and all of that. But I've come to uh, an adaptation, which you will see in a moment. But my weeks, which is in a Foxy Fix Sunflower, which I love, that I got in a trade for my uh, Sugar Mint uh, Mystery Sale. Um, and then I have my uh, Squeeze the Day from, uh, get the little color, get the glare off of there, from Coco Daisy. It just looked so cute together. I was like, ah, oh, and my Coco Daisy pen from March. Um, this is staying. But again, it will most likely stay at home too. Um, I've been updating this more um, at home because I'm not taking all of, because I can't take uh, all of my stickers and stuff. So, although I do have it. So, um, in my Kylie Reichman weeks uh, insert. But this may or may not go with me. I don't know for sure. Um, ooh. And I'll do this probably in a vlog uh, for later. My next, um, the Wooly Planner, uh, little Wooly things, clips are here. And I'm like, yay! Nomi has a hot cousin coming. So we might be opening that. I don't know. We'll see. See how long this goes. Anyway, so One Book July, primarily in my A5 Chic Sparrow Daphne Odyssey, which I love so dearly now that odyssey is gone forever you will never get this out of my cold dead hands ever um i missed yesterday an a5 zeus that had four rings and four splotches mm -hmm. but i literally missed it by 30 seconds and i'm like no somebody somebody tagged me in it and i was like oh my god oh my god oh my god and i was like typing out thank you so much for tagging me this and then I was going interested and when I hit interested it updated and somebody got in right before me and I'm like no and the person that was selling it has I have sold things to her before and she's like oh no and I'm like mm, you gotta follow the rules dang it I'm like but she has any second second um you know second or what is it called any uh you know I kind of worry some feelings or anything like that. You play those up <laughs> and I won't buy it even though it's a little expensive, but it was worth it. Um, but yeah, I missed out on the, the Zeus and it was gorgeous, gorgeous. I can tell you, I loved it. So the Zeus is the gray, which is the Mayflower, Mr. Darcy. And that's what I got in my, uh, with the buttered rum, which I am freaking keeping. And it's right up there, right up there. Love it. Love it. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and flip this bad boy around and I will show you how I am bullet journaling in my Hobonichi cousin Abak. We'll be right back. Feel like a newscaster and we'll be right back after this commercial message. Can y'all tell I've had a little caffeine today? All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly show you in my um, uh, bullet journal, this is, um, that was, I set this up on January 1st and uh, that's my index. Um, this is my future log. And so I do have some things that are going forward and this is my 2020 future log. So for 2020. This is my Calendex. This is the only thing that I will not have in my Cousin of Eck for the month of July. But that's okay. I have a plan. Um, this is my Year in Pixels. And I have had to have, add 
I've had to add a new color, which is the blue for BPP at B, BPPV, worst an acronym, whatever it's called, ever. Ever. It's horrible. Um, episodes when I have uh, two or more episodes a day. And you can see from the 20th, which is when I got my um, MRI, up until Friday when I got my ultrasound and it happened again. But since then, um, well, these two are just bad days because it was awful trying to get through those. Um, the So I guess the 20... It was the 28th, which was the, or 27th, was which, which was Friday. That's when I had the, the other episode. And these two were, I, I mean, I literally almost could not drive home. It was that bad. And I, every time I would walk, I would list to one side or the other. And so, yeah, it was, it was a, a bad couple of days there. But um, thankfully, yesterday and today and Saturday have been episode free. So, yay, we're going that so, um, this was the 2019 goals and milestones, which I'm kind of reworking, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, then, uh, these are all just, um, these were collections. So, this is recipes that I've tried in 2019. That will be increasing. Um, 101 goals in 1,001 days. This ends September 9th, 2020. And these are ones that I still need to work on, and I, I need to do an update on that because I have not actually gone through and seen what I have actually completed. Um, books to read or books read in 2019. I've got a couple of ones to add to that. Um, and then we start January. And this is the um, the month at a glance. And it's just kind of like a one line a day kind of thing. Then my task log and deliveries that I'm waiting for. And then my dailies. And so it just kind of goes through that. This is the opening February with just different quotes and things. Then again, February, February task list, waiting for... And then the dailies. And here I started doing um, a weekly review. And I did that most, uh, all of um, February. And then this is March. Again, the opening page. Uh, a daily, uh, line a day, task list, waiting for. And so it goes through this. And in April, I did the same thing. And I added to purchase things that I still needed to purchase. And then um, my weeks in review. And then in May, I I somehow spaced doing an opening page, which, you know, it's either here nor there. Um, my task list and my waiting for, and then my uh, 2019 uh, one line a day, and then the dailies. Now, here's where in May it just kind of started falling off a little bit. And then in June, I did this. This is the only washi tape and color in here just because I'd gotten the uh, Hydra color and I wanted to try it. And I wrote June in and then the June uh, there and then the task list, the appointments. These were all doctor's appointments in June. In fact, not all of them are even listed here. I still have one, two, three of them still to list. Um, then June waiting for, and then I didn't do a couple of the weeklies. And then, then I went through because I was going to get it, get back on track in June or in July and my second quarter wrap up my focus goals and, uh, my January to June, 2019, how it went, my review, my six months in review. And then these were the July to December goal ideas that I was working on and, um, then that's it because I decided to try to do it in my cousin of So how I'm doing that, um, with one book July, let me just clarify one thing. It started out six years ago with Romney from Romney's realm, Carrie Harling from, uh, uh, view at a frat house or a day in the frat house, something like that. Um, but Carrie Harling and, uh, Miss Vicki B. And they, those three started this whole challenge. Now, it was, back then, it was one book, one pen. That was it. And it has gone through many iterations. And last year, they added a digital per portion to that with Mimi. Um, but this year, they're focusing on the bullet journal method. And Romani will tell you, in all of her videos, the rules for One Book July are there are no rules. So you get to create what you want how you want to do it, 
and that's it. You don't have to stick to one cover. You don't have to stick to one book. You don't have to stick to one pen unless you want to. If you don't want to, or you want to take elements out of all of them, do it. But so many people, I've, I've watched several One Book July videos and they're like, you have to do this and you have to do that and you have to do this and blah, 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 blah. No, you don't. There are no rules. No rules. For some of us who like control, and there'll be a blog on my control loss soon, um, some of us might have a little hard time with that. I'm like, wait a minute, what are the rules? I want to follow the rules. But there are no rules. So I can adapt this challenge however I need to adapt it. So this is my um, January through June book. And there are times that I have a lot written. Sometimes I don't have anything written just because. And it's however I want to do it. Sometimes it was because I was writing stuff in my bullet journal, you know, whatever. Sometimes I can take up a whole page. Sometimes I don't. Um, so that's kind of how January went or the first half of the year went. And I was color blocking and I still love, love to color block. This is in February. And you know, my work week is blue. My, my commute is pink. My personal time is orange. My game time is black. My training time is green and it just works out. However, I'm trying something new. So that is January through June. This is the new, brand new, lovely, clean, fresh, July through December, Cousin of Eck. Now, I did a color copy of my um, Year in Pixels, and I washi taped it with one of my favorite washi tapes from Helen at Coffee Monsters Co. And as you can see, it is a darn good reputation. Uh, uh, replication of it. And these two, the two blue dots there at the bottom of June are ones colored on the paper. The rest of them are a copy of this one. So I will, for June, for July, I will have it all in here and then I will copy it into the, into there. But for the whole year, I think I'm just going to keep it in here just because I missed not being able to see this daily and seeing when, oh look, huh, when did I have hives? Oh look, it was in May from the 9th to the 17th. Huh, when did I have that BPPV spell? It was from Ju June 20th through the 26th. And you kind of see, um, uh, again, I'm at a loss for words today, but you kind of see patterns sometimes. Um, you know, like every month I was having an okay day here or here. And so it's very interesting just to see, and I love the way it looks. So, um, I moved the, uh, my Hobonichi stencil from the book here to here and just added some washi tape, which I loved. And then, uh, this will stay the same. And I have, I had tried to, um, look into using color dots right here. Um, just to use that for my year in pixels for the month of July. I just didn't like how that looked. So we did that. So um, this will stay the same. Uh, I just have not transferred from July to December. And I do have... Um, I'm just using it with different things. Appointments, all of that. See how June was? It was awful. But from July to December, I do have stuff put in so that I'll be moving that over here and I'll probably do that tonight or tomorrow. Um, but this is part of the reason that I need both books for right now, at least for a month or two. And then um, this does, if you'll notice, this does not have anything past December of 2020. This, however, the July, June, July to December has the January to June of next year, 2020. This is my future log. This is what I will be using for my future log, which in my bullet journal is, is on right here. So it's a combination of this and this for the next six months. So that's where I'll be doing my future log in my Hobonichi. Here is where I will be doing 
my one line a day. Instead of writing it out like this, I will do it in my monthly view. And I copied this from my June here. Um, from here. Oh, wait, that's my weeks. Oh, that's still my weeks. Hello, come on. I took all my bookmarks out, so I'm like, oh! So see, I had some future planning for June or July in my previous one so that I could, I love that about Hobonichi, so you can kind of prepare. So this is June as it happened, and then this is just me copying it forward, so I have it. And so this is my one line a day. And um, again, this is what this spread looks like in a bullet journal. And so you have the one line a day, you have your June task list, what I'm waiting for, and my appointments. So here, my task list will be right here on this section, and my waiting for will be across the bottom. That's how I'm doing this. And then I will go in and just do one line a day uh, into each of the monthly boxes. And if I have an appointment, like here, like MRI, 4.40 p.m., I will put that in there. So this is my one line a day. So this is the opening of the month. So this is my July so far. And so um, I always put the new moon and the full moon in. Uh, but my waiting for will be down here. And I was waiting for my Wooly Planner uh, order number two. And I just got that today. So I will be checking that off. And I do the, the check. I put the dots um, for, for action items. And then if I move it forward, I have a forward arrow like that. Um, as you can see here, um, there's a forward arrow, or if I got it done, I check it off. Those are the extent of my symbols pretty much. Um, but that's in my entire bullet journal. That's how it is done. So let me go back to here is May. And so I just didn't put those forward, but usually I will move it. Yeah. Like right here, my aura ring, I was still waiting for it in April. So I moved that forward and moved that forward and moved that forward, but it's just a check. Or if I, if for some reason I didn't do it at all and I wasn't moving it forward, I would put an X. So I do follow most of his suggestions, Ryder Carroll's suggestions for the, the keys. I don't need a key because this is how I do it. This is what makes sense for me, and so that's how I'm doing it. So here is the month for July, and then here we start the weekly view, and this is something that I don't have in my bullet journal. Uh, I never required a weekly view, really, um, but here's where I'm going to be putting the weekly tasks, um, and I'll be pulling them from my monthly task list here. Or if it's something that I don't have listed here, these are the big projects that I want to get done. And this is what I'm tackling every week. And so I'll put my task list here. And then um, if I have, um, let's see, like I've done in here in the previous six months during my week, you can kind of see how I've blocked this off at midnight. Um, that and sometimes it got used sometimes I didn't use it all and so my weekly orders or projects will go in that section I just haven't marked that off yet because I didn't have my markers with me today at work so um, but it will be uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna color block I think I'm just gonna do it like this in black pen um, and just put down my appointments as I go and see how I like it for this first week. If it drives me crazy, I'll go back to the color blocking. But it's a lot less work. Um, I don't have to set up my week that way. If I just keep keep it here and keep it updated throughout the day. So um, there's my week view. And so the weekly tasks and weekly orders or and projects will be at the bottom. And then into the monthly, I every month I list my stats at the first page here. And so it just depends on what I'm what I'm focusing on that month. Uh, this was June's, and again, hmm, saw a theme because I was using the hydro color because I loved it. Um, I put my focus, uh, my beginning weight, my uh, goal for June was 225. I actually got below 225, but then because of inactivity, 
I went back up to 227. However, it's still lower than 229 and lower than the beginning of the year. So I lost two pounds in the month of June. My goal is to lose five pounds per month and we'll go there. I did get my 30 miles ran. How I did that, I have absolutely no freaking idea. But thankfully I did and we're trying to do that. I did not add to my savings um, this month. Uh, There's just too much to focus on and, and worry about. Um, I did hit my 2,000 followers on Instagram or on uh, YouTube. Woohoo! Thank you. I love you all. Um, I didn't. I only got one blog done. I did get two vlogs. I did not get a podcast done. And fight, bike, and swim. Yeah. Hmm. Good luck with that. Nope. Swimming is going to be interesting. If if I have another episode, I've had so many people tell me that swimming was the hardest thing on their ears. So we will see. I'm going to try it sometime this month, but we will see. My average steps for June were 10,963. My average mi active minutes was 129. My average hours of sleep, 7 hours and 16 minutes. So that's how I set up the month. Um, I will be doing the same here. I, these are just some things that I was working on because I want to kind of figure out how I want to do this. Um, I want to do it a little bit differently because I'm doing more of a bullet journal style. Um, these are the goals for July. 14-hour uh, fast instead of the 13-hour fast, so I'm moving it up. So I'll start my fast at 7.30 p.m. and go to 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, I want to walk or run 10 miles per week. Um, I want to do daily walks, so whether it's a mile, two miles, five miles, whatever it is, um, just get outside every day. Um, prep and clear the backyard. Uh, we have a big dumpster coming in the middle of this month, and so my backyard looks crazy, like a jungle, and my husband loves it because it's lush. I It's making me crazy, and I'm like, I need a peaceful, lovely place that I can go outside and just kind of relax on our patio. So, I don't know if I'll be brave enough to show you guys pictures at some point, before and after, but maybe. We'll see. Um, I need to, um, I'm going to start replacing the f carpets in the main floor. Uh, you have a little dog. It's, it's awful. Um, but the carpet, it needs to be redone and I'm going to try to do, um, pergo flooring or the slatted for flooring. And so I'm going to start watching videos and start prepping for that because that's something I want to do in the winter. So, uh, clothing declutter. We're still working on that. Cultivate what matters. I am doing the six month undated plan, uh, power sheets starting this month. So to adjust my goals for the second half of the year and I, you guys will be seeing vlogs for that and, um, it'll be included into this. Um, so this month, because I'll be going through the first part of the prep and then getting into July. So yes, I will be doing cultivate what's what matters. I had hemmed and hawed. I wanted to start it. Um, but then I was like, no, this, that's just FOMO. I don't want to worry about it, but, uh, it's 30, it was 30% off. So I got it for like $24. I didn't get all the extra bells and whistles or anything like that. And it's still on 30% off. So you guys could probably go on and get it if you were interested. It's an undated six month power sheets. And just watching Cindy Gutierrez bottle go through hers. I was just like, you know, I need to re look at my goals and that would be a perfect way to do that. So in conjunction with One Book July, I will also be doing st doing the prep for Cultivate What Matters. So there's that. Uh, dropping the five pounds for the month. Also, I will be doing two to three new recipes, which will go back into this spread for trying new recipes out. And um, because I have gotten several, so recipes tried in 2019, uh, over the past, I don't know, a few months, I've been picking up like clean eating, Whole30, keto, all of these different cookbooks, but I never use them. And so along with one book July, I'm like one cookbook July that I'm like, okay, I'm taking a cookbook and I believe I'm going to stick with the cleaner eating cookbook for, that I picked up at Costco. Um, watch my Instagram and I'll show you a picture of it. But for this week, I'm going to pick out two to three recipes to try out. For this week and um, make it a lot more clean eating and try to move away from processed foods this last half of the year. So 
two to three new recipes a week, and then two blogs, one podcast. And I apologize, you guys. I only have so much time, and the one thing that has kind of fallen to the wayside is the podcast. Um, I have, I think, two episodes up, but uh, right now, <laughs> I was so gung-ho for it in June, and then my life fell apart. So um, it was about Athena athletes and my tri-training, but it's kind of becoming an older athlete kind of or an older Athena athlete kind of thing. And so I'm kind of tweaking what I want to talk about. And I'm, and I, and I get kind of, I don't know, mic fear because I'm like, I, I, I don't know what I want to talk about specifically. I want to talk about this and this and this and this and this. And I'm like, but it's not Athena and it's not try training constantly because I can't do that right now. And it was just kind of right in my face that it was something that I could not do. And I thought, you know, maybe that should be the focus of this because so many athletes go through this and lose different things that they thought that they could do. And, and now because they're getting older or whatever, or injury or what, whatever happens, family, what, what, what not, you can't do it. And I was afraid to talk about that, but stay tuned. <laughs> In July, there will be a new podcast from Hell or High Water. Um, and then uh, we, along with getting that dumpster, we're also removing our old deck that is just a tiny, teeny deck out there, which does no good to anybody. And it's taking up prime real estate of the tiny little backyard that we do have that I could put um, over towards the fall in, for next spring build up planer boxes. So those are the goals. And so that'll go on here and figure out how to write it. Now, here's where I'm going to put my daily spread on the daily pages. You will notice there's a little bit different. This is how I broke it up. My schedule here, my focus on whatever it was, my priority for the day, my gratitude for the day, and then this was my training and this is ended up being about my fasting and then this was journaling and these were the top things that I needed to get done that day. I loved this and I've been using this layout for a year and a half, over a year and a half actually. So, with the bullet journal method, I'm going to try to be more free with this and try different things in because that's the whole idea behind One Book July is to get out of your comfort zone, get out of your rut, whatever, and see if there is a better way to do this. And so, um, I have my days in my, um, here, kind of broken out what's happened during the day. And I will, I, I was a little scared today going, oh, I don't want to write on the daily page. What if I screwed up? And oh, I don't want to do that. I'm over that now. So this evening I'm going to go through and put my whole day. I'm not going to block it off. I'm not going to do anything. It is basically a blank slate and it will be, I will treat it just like, a bullet journal page because the the this is not like a bullet journal page so in here so it's, I don't block that off or do anything so I'm just gonna treat it like this I am going to still keep this as my schedule here but and then my top priority um, things that I need to get done there but the rest of it is just gonna be like a bullet journal and that's how I'm gonna bullet journal in here so Ta-da! There it is. And then this, I, I just have um, the new moon. And then when I, just to remind me that, that the second is the new moon. And so what I'll do is when I go in to journal tomorrow night, I will move this to the next new moon. Just so it, it's just a big reminder. Hey, do your tarot reading and all that kind of thing. So that is how I am doing bullet journaling in my Hobonichi Cousin of Eck. So um, everything that is in my bullet journal and that, uh, that writer Carol talks about. Now, obviously, I will not have collections in here. But as I flipped through this, you guys saw that I, I do have collections. But I'm not really... I, I still keep those in my bullet journal. And it's not that I want to combine these two at all. I love my bullet journal and I like having it separate. But I use these in tandem. But as far as One Book July, that's what I'm doing is I'm combining my bullet journal, and my Hobonichi Cousin of Eck into one and bullet journaling here to see if I like a different style of daily layout. 
So that is my challenge this year, this year is to um, see if I can incorporate more bullet journal styling into my cousin of Beck and, you know, doing my journal and all of that kind of thing. My morning routine still stays the same. I'm still doing my miracle morning in my A5 or A6 uh, Techo English planner and all of that. Um, I, the other thing that I have not included in here, I know, I know. I'm like, oh, I'm putting all of this together, but it, it really just kind of flows for that. Um, as I'm into the Cultivate What Matters, it is very similar to a level 10 life. And so the, the different sections on all of that. So I'm kind of combining level 10 life and Cultivate What Matters together into that those power sheets. And so um, you may see some of that flow into my... Um, one book July. I just, that's why I brought that up. Uh, so that you were aware of that. So anyway, uh, this is getting way too long. So that is my intro to one book July. Uh, let me know down below if you are doing one book July, how you're doing it. If you're doing the one book, one pen, one cover, no more covers can ever be allowed in the whole month, you know, or how are you adapting it to you? And if you're not, great. This is just something that I did enjoy last year. Even though it was a ring planner, it got me, um, I really loved my pocket rings and I still do. And I still like the personal rings. Um, it is just not something that I can, can use without using my cousin of Beck. And y'all know this is my ride or die. If I had to pick one planner for the rest of my life, it would be the Hobonichi Cousin of Beck because it does everything that I want it to do. I just like to have other things as well. So it just is more convenient for me to, um, what the hell is that? Oh, bent a page. Oh, um, it's more convenient to me to have my weeks be my self care tracker instead of tracking that in here, just because I do use stickers and all that kind of thing in my self care. And that's part of my self care. I enjoy that very, very much. And, um, the one thing that I will say that here towards the end, I was putting my readiness and my sleep and all of that here. And I was double tracking that. I am not going to do that anymore because all of this, my top priority for the day and my gratitude, um, and my, my fasting and all of that and my training, I track in my personal, in my Athena. So I'm like, I don't need to double up on that. And that's part of the reason I am doing this. Because that carrying that personal with me or my pocket, either one, um, is very convenient for me. And I have that with me. I do not carry my cousin Avec with me everywhere I go. This only goes to work with me. And so uh, if I'm out on the weekends, you will find nine times out of ten during the weekend, I have very little written on the weekends. Um, because uh, I don't carry it with me during the day. So I don't, and I'm out around doing stuff all day long during the weekends. And so very little gets written. So this is part of that. And so trying to figure out if there is a better method than what I've done for the first, you know, six weeks or six months of the year, or, you know, two years prior to that. Um, and seeing if there is a different or better way that I want to do it. If not, I'm going back to that in August, but I think that there will be some changes where I don't have to draw those lines out. Even though I love the sectioning and it's very easy for me to look at it and just go, boom, I know what I'm missing. I know what I need. But I also realize that I'm du duplicating again and I don't want to do that anymore. So blank spreads. That is my biggest challenge is just filling all that in. So there you have it. Let me know about your One Book July, and as always, spend the rest of your life celebrating because it's a beautiful life no matter where you're at, what's happening to you. You can always find something beautiful to celebrate. So have a great day, and I will talk to you very soon because these videos will be coming randomly very, you know, much more often than they have in the months past because it's kind of like Vlogmas. Um, but I wanted to keep you guys updated on One Big July much more than twice a week. So there you go. Have a great day and I will talk to you soon.